Liverpool has received significant updates from Fabrizio Romano regarding superstar signings while discussions about Victor Osimhen are underway. A Liverpool target valued at £100 million could join Barcelona or Real Madrid for less than the release clause. Liverpool aims to sign a £34 million prodigy, a swift response to the club's issue. Welcome, my fellow fans. You're in the news channel of the greatest club in the world. As reported by The Echo earlier this month, Liverpool has its eyes on Morton Frendrup, former teammate of Dragusin at Genoa. Despite club denials about signing a midfielder in January, scouts continue to monitor the development of the 22-year-old Danish player. Frendrup, a youth international, has excelled in Serie A, showcasing versatility and notable defensive skills, including playing as a fullback on both flanks. Given Liverpool's defensive instability this season, his versatility would be highly welcomed. Although a transfer in January seems unlikely, considering the £150 million invested in midfield reinforcements last summer, Liverpool might be in the market for a new midfielder at the end of the season, especially with Thiago Alcantara's contract nearing expiration. However, Tottenham's recent interest in Frendrup could expedite the Reds' plans. Give me sport reports that Spurs are eyeing the Dane, which may influence future negotiations, given the positive history between the London club and Genoa. This, in turn, could have implications for transfer decisions next summer. Celtic coach Ange Postacoglu is also looking to strengthen the midfield, considering both Conor Gallagher and Frendrup as potential targets. Spurs' interest in Frendrup may impact Liverpool's decisions, as they previously outpaced Tottenham in signing Luis Diaz in January 2022. Although Liverpool initially planned to wait until summer to acquire Diaz, they changed their plans to avoid losing him to Spurs. The story might not repeat with Frendrup, but January remains uncertain at Anfield, potentially bringing twists to the Reds' interests, especially if Tottenham makes an offer for the Dane this month. According to reports from Italy, Liverpool attempted to sign a promising teenage talent from Serie A Gazzetta dello Sport via Paisley Gates, stated that the Reds made a move for Kenan Yildiz. But Juventus rejected the approach, also turning down offers from Borussia Dortmund and RB Leipzig. Turin's team is committed to keeping the 18-year-old at the Allianz Stadium, even willing to release Moise Kayan and possibly offer a salary increase to the Turkish teenager to appease him amid widespread interest. The estimated value for the young player is between 35 and 40 million euros, equivalent to 30 pounds, 10 pence to 34.5 million pounds. Yildiz has had a promising start in Juventus's senior team, with three goals in 11 games so far, becoming the youngest foreign top scorer for the club in Serie A. Capable of leading the line or playing just behind the main striker, the 18-year-old is already an international for Turkey and has scored for his country. The interest from top clubs underscores his immense potential. However, besides Juventus's determination not to sell him, the teenager may hesitate to leave his regular playing time in Turin for a secondary role at Liverpool, where he would certainly be in an early stage to replace names like Darwin Nunez and Cody Gakpo. Moreover, a fee exceeding £30 million might be considered high for someone with less than a dozen games in his senior career especially when compared to the more experienced Mo Salah, who cost only £36.9 million when Liverpool signed him in 2017. The chances of Yildiz arriving at Anfield soon are remote, but Liverpool's interest is understandable, considering the initial promise he is showing at Juventus. Bruno Guimaraes, a player who has piqued Liverpool's interest, is now on the radar of both Barcelona and Real Madrid, with the possibility of being acquired for an amount below his £100 million release clause. Football transfers reported Liverpool's interest in the Newcastle United midfielder, considering him a viable target to bolster the Reds' midfield unit. Barcelona, the current La Liga champion, is in search of a defensive midfielder to succeed Sergio Busquets, but financial constraints lead them to contemplate a partial swap deal to secure Gomare's signing. Additionally, Real Madrid also expressed interest in the Brazilian player during the summer transfer window, particularly due to his ability to play as an advanced midfielder. According to reports, both Spanish giants could acquire Guimaraes' services for an amount below his release clause. Newcastle United, aware of the interest, is willing to negotiate the transfer of the 26-year-old midfielder for an amount below £100 million. However, it's crucial to note that clubs like Liverpool would have to activate the release clause to secure the player's signing. 
The outcome of this situation remains uncertain, leaving in suspense where Gamares will head when he eventually leaves Newcastle. Fabrizio Romano provided an extensive update on the imminent fate of Kylian Mbappe, generating significant anticipation at Liverpool while awaiting Real Madrid's next decisions regarding the PSG star. At 25, Mbappe is considered one of the world's greatest football talents, and with his PSG contract set to expire in six months, speculations about his future dominate transfer headlines. Notably, recent reports from Foot Mercato indicated that the French forward had agreed to a pre-contract with Real Madrid, fueling intense speculation about a potential move to the Spanish club. However, information from Mbappe's team contradicted these reports, stating that no decision about the future had been made at this time. Mbappe also expressed his intention to announce a decision by the end of the season, leaving open the possibility of staying at PSG. With Real Madrid supposedly setting the deadline of January 15th for Mbappe to decide on his move to Bernabeu, Liverpool emerges as a possible destination if the transfer falls through. The chances of Real Madrid signing Mbappe are now considered remote by the Spanish press with speculation indicating that the club's executives are leaning towards pursuing Victor Osimhen from Napoli as an alternative. However, Mbappe's substantial salary demands pose a considerable financial challenge, and Liverpool is mentioned as a possible destination. Yet these speculations run into existing salary structures at Liverpool, especially considering their highest earner currently is Salah, whose contract expires in the summer of 2025, and is £350,000 per week. Despite Mundo Deportivo suggesting Real Madrid's chances of securing Mbappe are now nil, and as highlighting a preference for Osimhen, the possibility of Mbappe heading to Anfield remains shrouded in uncertainties. Liverpool's owner, John W. Henry, is mentioned as having a personal interest in bringing the global star to the club, but negotiations would be challenging given the exorbitant salary demands. The Mbappé saga continues to be one of the most intriguing storylines in the transfer market, awaiting developments in the coming days. Thank you for watching until here. Until next time.